This tells me they're going to have to put down the power grid for multiple months. They're going to release another bioweapon. They're going to um, re- allow the junkyard dogs, the Marxists and the Islamists off the leash. And they're going to go after our food supply. And I'm afraid we could even see major, major terrorist attacks in the U.S. Why are, Sharam, some of the most well-known, big tech, wealthy guys, why has it been in the press the last year? They're all building multi-million dollar bunkers. I, I am concerned that NATO, of course, is pushing and poking Putin to get, and they're going after his early warning systems. They're targeting deep into Russia. They're using Western weapons to with Ukraine to target deep into Russia, including, as I said, their early warning systems, which Putin cannot let those go down. So that's going to force him to do a preemptive strike, which will give them the narrative. Oh, look at Putin. What an evil guy he is. But here's the other scenario I put out last night. What if this is all to create the narrative Get a reaction from Putin, but Putin isn't the one that lets a nuclear weapon loose in the U.S. What if it's our own captured CCP Islamic government that releases a nuclear weapon in the U.S. and then blames it on Putin? And I'm not an apologist for Putin. What I am is a presenter of truth in both sides. And we know that this government from two or three shows we did last year has carried out multiple false flags against Americans. Tell me, Sharam Hadian, in your mind, why this same government would not rip loose nuclear weapons in the U.S., dirty bombs and nuclear bombs, and blame it on Putin and, and, and use that crisis to depopulate and then to implement a regime in this country under the control of their masters, the CCP. Sharam? Well, I think... Um there's no limit to this government. So the way I would answer it is that all bets are off. This government that I believe is the most corrupt that we've ever had um, in this nation at the federal level, certainly, and and in many states, but the political parties uh, are being corrupted. Um, So to me, there's no limit on what they will allow, because as you said, they've done it before. They've carried out harm against their own people. I think that they're they're looking at multiple things they're going to release simultaneously. Uh, they have to depopulate, as you said. This is a major, major, and this is, I, I think, Brandon, honestly, when I talk to other Christians, I think the depopulation thing is the biggest thing for Christians to get their minds around. It's like, it's like, okay, yeah, I can see this, I can see that, but when you tell them about depopulation, it's like they just, their minds shut off. It's, it's like they can't handle the concept that these leaders would be that evil and Satan uh, would be that evil to, inf- to influence these leaders to do such uh, a genocide against the human population. But that's exactly what they've said. That's exactly what Event to, uh, Agenda 2030 is about. That's exactly what sustainable development is about. That's exactly what they have to do. Uh, so I think all those are on the table. Um, the only thing I don't know is whether they start carrying this out this fall or whether as you and I have talked about another scenario, which is they allow Trump to win. Every indication looks like, in my opinion, that they're setting up for a Trump presidency, Um, whether they've already gotten him to agree to certain things, whether he's just not going to touch certain things because he wants the power back, but hey, you, you can't touch a deep state, and then unleash those things on his watch. I think both scenarios are on the table. It could happen this fall where all these things are unleashed. Certainly we see the lockdowns coming. I mean, again, it's just how many more warnings can we give to people? But also I could see the scenario. We get through this election um, and and, and now under on Trump's watch, all of this happened. Imagine that. Imagine if that, if that um, deep state intelligence apparatus under Trump's watch, could then come and come after us when those things are unleashed, maybe early 2025. Just a thought. Well, we do know that Dennis Meadows, who was one of the founders back in the early 70s of the uh, Club of Rome and Limits of Growth, he, he, we played it last night. He is calling yeah. for bringing the population down to one billion. 
We're at eight yeah. billion. It was at seven billion yeah. when he made the video. He's calling for bringing it down to one billion people. People don't understand this. You say the Christian community doesn't understand this. And the reason the Christian community doesn't understand this is because largely our pulpits have gone silent on teaching about the occult, about teaching about paganism, the worship of nature, pantheism, panentheism. Uh, I hate to say it. I'm not sure a lot of pastors in America anymore could define pantheism or panentheism. They don't understand that it goes back to Genesis 3, that this is the worship of nature. Uh, and to them, just like in the Holocaust, depopulation is seen as human sacrifice to a Babylonian goddess system, as Dr. Mark, uh, uh, Dr. Mark, uh, his last name come to me here in a minute, but Dr. Mark uh, points out in his book, Nazi Ecology. This is nothing new. Uh, th this is, again, paganism new age concepts it's part of their religion and we just get another chance to be reincarnated and hopefully we won't come back as uh, christians next time just as hitler hoped they wouldn't come back as jews the nazi ecology by dr mark musser m-u-s-s-e-r i i get nothing for telling you about this book but an educated audience if you were to read that book mark Mus by mark musser nazi, nazi ecology you would understand that these people are driven by a, a, a satanic, demonic ideology, okay? When it comes to wiping out Christians, wiping out the Jews. This is what Hitler did, because the Jews, they believe that nature, as does Christ, do Christians, that nature is here to serve man. We have stewardship. They turned it upside down, as Satan always does, that man was to serve nature. And Hitler believed that the Jews were a blight. They were, many of them, into the free market system. He blamed the financial crisis on them. They were into, obviously, uh, their kosher diets. Some of the first rules in laws he passed in 33 were against the kosher diets. Uh, he saw the Jews as substandard, subhuman, literally. And many of the SS officers and troops were told, you're doing them a favor. They get to get, get another go at it in reincarnation. Uh, Dr. Uh, Erwin Lutzer points this out in his book, Hitler's Cross. So when Christians say, I don't understand the whole depopulation thing, that's because you don't understand the cosmic humanist worldview. You don't understand pantheism. You don't understand panentheism. You don't understand the worship of nature. Not this audience, you do. But no wonder so many of us try to talk to our family and friends and they're like, depopulation, that's a bridge too far. No, it's not. It's their religious ideology.